viewership. It's your half-assed reporter James Com, the guy on the bike. And we're on 19th Street in West Chelsea. And we're going to try to bop in here to oh, really? Daffod Zwerner. And we're going to try to get some pictures of an exhibition by Rose Wiley titled Which One? I uh, pedaled in from Brooklyn, and I uh, often comment to Kate that uh, Brooklyn is in a whole different weather cell from Manhattan. As soon as I got across the bridge, I felt a few raindrops. And by the time I got over here to West Chelsea, it's actually drizzling. But, uh, well, that didn't stop us. Well, I've uh, heard a lot of positive feedback about this show. I guess it was maybe two weeks ago we went in and did a little interview with Kathy Bradford and uh, out of the three or four artists she mentioned as being influenced by or being interested in. I think Rose Wiley was one of the people and she said I had to get over here and see this. Okay, this is titled Black Peat, Blackbird and Lizard 2020 Oil on Canvas, two panels. Each about six by five feet, something like that. Well, okay, my own uh, familiarity with Rose started about, uh, I guess it's been four or five years ago. I saw a booth at uh, Freeze that had her work. And, uh, I was initially impressed and uh, then I find out that she's kind of a superstar in Britain and uh, also that uh, Rose is <clears throat> mature. I think she's in her late 80s at this point. It's titled Red Plane and Runway. Homage to Retablo's painting 2020. This is 82 by 65. And uh, I was reading a little bit about Rose and they were saying that, uh, well, she collects a lot of her ideas, her imagery from pop culture, tabloids, TV, magazines. But I was thinking that uh, yeah, one of the things I like is that she's got a very uh, 
the physical way of working. I guess a lot of these are unstretched. And she kind of rolls out the canvas in the studio and then uh, proceeds to work on these almost as if she was making drawings. And they say that drawing is a very important part of her practice. Okay, guess what this is named? Breakfast. Soil on canvas, two panels. So each one is six by five. Uh, as I say, I'm a fan of uh, the chunky paint and Rose definitely uh, <laughs> goobs on the paint. I guess that's a technical term. Uh, and I like the way that uh, she glues these on to other canvases, the face of the painting. Also, I think it's uh, worth noting that uh, David Zorner has shown a lot of mature female artists. Susan Freecon, I mean, Susan is not that mature, but uh, Joan Mitchell and uh, Alice Neal. So I like uh, Rose's use of the text. Okay, this is a nice piece. Titled Illuminated Manuscript, Adam and Eve. Well, I also like the way that, uh, gosh, there's a lot of uh, hand in here. There's a lot of uh, Rose's little little paws moving things around and smudging and fingerprints and uh, maybe correcting things. But I think, uh, like I was saying, she works a lot like she's drawing with the paintbrush and then uh, leaving the raw canvas would be like the white page of a sketchbook. I'm just surprised that there's not more of a uh, oil rainbow that's leached out of this. It's soaked into the raw canvas. I think that just uh, graphically works real nice, almost like a poster or a book cover or something like that. Gosh, there's Stanley Whitney. The great Stanley. Good, I'm good, how are you? Yeah, nice to see you too. Pink Pig and Sausages. Homage to Rotablo's painting, 2020, oil on canvas. And uh, gosh, I like the way that she's uh, sort of sticking this text, the handwritten script in at the bottom, but uh, the pasting the other canvas over the top with some notes. The butcher turned his head. Okay. I think there's another uh, oh, entry.
interesting aspect about the work is that it uh, almost has the quality of a, an outsider artist. This is Disco Girl, 84 by 63. And a lot of this has the uh, kind of urgency that a good Basquiat would have. Okay, so I'll just get a little note here on the side. Homage. Also, uh, she gets a lot of, a lot of mileage out of a very limited palette. A lot of black and of off-white. This is gun and trouser. Oil on canvas, 82 by 63. Okay, so uh, here she comes in and uh, collages in some smaller sections, kind of using that as a means of erasure. And uh, well, we saw Kathy Bradford doing a little bit of that. Also, uh, yeah, it's like she was just rolling out the canvas and uh, came to the edge of the, of the image. <laughs> And of an extended another foot out there and she just left that blank. A situation, intercession, it's intervention, homage, Mexico, Riblato. And uh, yeah, all this raw canvas also makes me think about some of the uh, early abstract expressionists, people like Clifford Still, some of the, the good Pollocks. It's just fluffy head. This two canvases overall, this is six by 10 feet. And yeah, there's a real nice uh, urgency here. Rose doesn't get precious. Oh gosh, we've got, uh, <laughs> that's dog hair. We saw the uh, Susan, Susan Rothenberg show. with clumps of dog hair in some of the paintings. I guess they probably even charged extra for that. Oh, some of this is drying out. I'm getting a crackle. Oh, and you can see her pencil line under the text. Again, very uh, kind of simple, almost earthy colors. Like uh, this isn't a carmine red or a poppy red. It's kind of a blood maroon.
gosh, here's a pineapple. Pineapple 2020 painted bronze, bronze in two parts. It's 137. So that's like 11 feet tall, something like that. By 43. It's an addition of three, and this is the, the artist's proof. I like to be. <laughs> we know the rest of the song, right? Under the sea. And I was also sort of thinking about just the uh, free, spontaneous urgency of the way these are put together and her kind of scribbling and recalls. Cy Twombly. Some chunky stuff in there. This one most might be one of the more coloristically complex pieces. I'll read a little bit from the press release. Wiley paints uniquely recognizable, colorful, and exuberant comp compositions that at first glance appear aesthetically simplistic, not seeming to align with any discernible style or movement, but on closer inspection are revealed to be witty observations and subtly sophisticated meditations on the nature of visual representation itself. Okay, it says that uh, Rose was born in 1934, so that makes her 87, and that this is her first show with David Zwerner in New York, so that's interesting. This is under the sea. Gosh, I wonder if Rose is a Beatles fan. It was Ringo Starr actually wrote the lyrics for that song. This ex exhibition features a group of paintings that were made at Wiley's home, a 17th century house in Kent, England, often painting through the night and in different rooms of the house. These works were at once representative of the experience of solitude and confinement felt by many in 2020, as well as Wiley's approach to her medium. As she relates, ages ago, someone said to me, tell me, are you more interested in what's painted or how it's painted? Well, I just said, both. Okay. So. It's not just about the content, it's about the, the means. So she's talking about content and form. We're going to wrap up looking at this piece. Green Man. Homage to Retablos. I wonder if those are the little kind of memorial metal paintings that they make and uh, I guess maybe put on people's 
graves on the Day of the Dead or something like that? Maybe, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I like the way that this uh, text breaks up the picture plane. And uh, she's got these margins that sort of run around one side. I know a lot of uh, young painters, painters that are more <clears throat> intentionally engaged in the commercial aspect of the uh, art world that uh, they try to <laughs> fake this kind of uh, authenticity. I mean, I know some people that have been doing it for 25 years, but somehow it always has a uh, contrived, uh, synthetic feel about it. Gracias al cosmos. Gracias. Yeah, a lot of ways, they, they, these have the kind of uh, spontaneous uh, urgency of someone painting a sign at a little roadside gas station 50 miles from the next chance to fill up. James Com reporting on Rose Wiley, which one? David's Werner. You can like this, share, link it up at all your social media sites, and you can leave your thoughts, ideas, comments, criticisms, and reviews below. But as always, we just ask you to say thank you, Kate. <laughs>